When using document as a trigger in Zapier, you can also set a condition or a specific set of conditions in order for the next action to take place. So let's say once my workflow is completed in document, I only want the next action to take place if a specific condition is fulfilled. So for this, let's take the use case of a client engagement letter generator. So let's say I have this client engagement letter generator in document, which I can use to generate new matters for new or existing clients. So what I wanna do is that when a new client is entered into this intake, I want all of the information collected in this intake to be automatically imported into my CRM, which is HubSpot in this case. However, if the client status is existing, which would mean that the client already exists in my CRM and in my firm's processes, I do not want all of the information collected to be automatically imported into HubSpot as this will create a duplicate. So in order to do this, we will create a conditional trigger in Zapier for the information relating to the client to be only imported into HubSpot when the client status selected is new. What I will do is then set up document as my trigger as I would typically do. So once the client engagement letter workflow is completed in document, that will be my trigger. Then I want to add a specific condition to be met in order for information to be imported in HubSpot. To do this, I will use the feature called Filter by Zapier, which will allow me to add specific conditions in order for the Zap to move on to the next step. So what I will do here is set up the variable, which is the client status, which will have to match a specific condition before the Zap continues. So Zapier allows you to add all sets of conditions being contained or does not contain, exactly match, does not exactly match. Then you can also add condition based on numbers, which are greater than, less than, or um, dates after, before equals a certain date, or for yes, no question being is true or is false. So here, since the client status field in document is a single select question, user can only select new or existing. So what I will want to do here is set the condition as only continue if the client status exactly matches the word new. I will be able to add other cumulative or alternative conditions if I want to. Then I will click on continue in order to add the final step to my zap which would be to create a new contact in HubSpot. So once I would be done setting up the action, this is what my Zap will look like. So basically, the trigger would be when a client engagement letter workflow is completed in Document, then the next action here to create a contact in HubSpot will only be triggered if this specific condition is met which is in this case, if the client status is new, then I will have a new contact created in HubSpot based on some data that has been collected in document, including first name, last name, contact information, and client's address. However, if the client status would be existing, then no other action will be triggered based on this app as the condition is not met.